Hey guys, Peluji here and in this video we're going to create these four web designs UIs in Figma. Now just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design where I'm basically sharing my over eight years of experience. And I'm also leaving these source files to these Figma tutorials and also Sketch and Adobe XD tutorials. So now without further ado, let's get started and let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, so we just opened Figma and uh, we are going to create a new frame under the desktop section. We're going to use the very first one, which is 1440 pixels of width. Let's double click on the name and let's rename it to simply one. And I also want to change the background color just to make it a little bit lighter. And I'm going to use a kind of a bluish tint, grayish bluish tint. So let's go ahead and let's start creating the actual logo. So I'm going to write here the logo text, which is going to be pretty simple. Let's increase the size of this logo just a little bit. And uh, we're going to use uh, Open Sans for this particular design. And uh, for the logo, we're going to go with either the bold or the extra bold. And uh, I think uh, this one is going to work uh, pretty fine. Let's make it just a little bit smaller since we don't want the logo to take on all of this space. And now let's uh, copy and paste uh, a duplicate of the logo since we're going to create uh, the main menu items. So let's make it 14 pixels and we're going to write here about. And we're also going to add the um, grids in uh, just a moment. For the time being, let's just duplicate this a few times. Let's write in some other items, just the portfolio, the contact us. And uh, we're also going to go ahead and add the get started button. All right, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and let's add a rectangle behind the get started button. And we're going to change the color to being a sort of a black color. And let's make the text white. All right, let's make it just a little bit smaller so it doesn't take on all that much space. We're also going to use the auto layout feature, which uh, has been recently introduced. And uh, I also created a video on it. So if you're interested in learning more about the auto layout feature, feel free to check out the video on my YouTube channel where I explain all that in depth. All right, that being said, we're ready to go ahead and add a layout grid. We're going to use a column, 12 columns grid. We're also going to add some margins and uh, we're going to go ahead and make these uh, columns a little bit lighter. All right. Now, just to be sure that everything is uh, distributed well, we're going to select uh, all of these elements, uh, <coughs> sorry, and uh, we're going to distribute them uh, horizontally and bring them a bit over the left section so that it aligns with uh, the actual column. Now we're also going to duplicate this. And uh, by the way, I'm using uh, the Option Alt key in order to simply left click on an element and duplicate it a few times. Just something which is pretty handy and you can combine it with the Shift key if you need to duplicate it across one single um, line. So let's go ahead and let's write the headline, which is going to be learning a new um, probably we can do something a little bit better in that uh, in a revolutionary way. Yeah, that's better. Let's increase the size of this. Let's bring this one down here. And uh, let's also duplicate uh, one of these menu items and we're going to bring them uh, right here below. And uh, I'm going to use... Uh, it's 
we're going to continue over here and we're going to make this uh, smaller since we're going to cut uh, all this section right here let's increase the line height uh, in between uh, this part we're also going to duplicate the button just below all right so let's increase also the size of this button and we're going to duplicate it just one more time before we do that i just want to be sure that the inner dimension is uh, just 18 so that it's not it doesn't conflict or actually 17 and let's duplicate this uh, just one more time and we're going to change the color I'm going to add a stroke to add a fill as well maybe let's consider having a 1.5 for the stroke and let's uh, right here learn more all right so far so good now let's go ahead uh, over here and let's add some uh, tags at the very bottom so the first tag is going to be learning Bring this one right here. And let's round it up all the way. Now we're going to change the fill to be completely white. We're going to add a drop shadow around this uh, element which we just created. <clears throat> Let's also use uh, nuclear icons in order to find uh, a colored icon which we can add uh, to the specific section. And uh, we're going to use uh, this one right here. Let's unframe all of this. And let's bring it up and a little bit on the side. And we're going to group them and uh, duplicate this. Uh, just a few times using shift plus the option key and uh, actually let's go ahead uh, and let's make these even smaller since uh, don't really want to, uh, to drive all sorts of visual emphasis to it so let's make this one 13 pixels let's also select all of these uh, Create the stroke and let's make it a little bit lighter. And this one's going to be 1.5. All right, this one's working pretty well. We're going to add a few more icons. So let's find the one of Bitcoin. And let's browse through the nuclear app in order to, well, let's write something around <clears throat> the lines of gamify. And let's go ahead and let's find uh, one more. Which is going to be maybe this one here. All right, so far. So good. Let's unframe all of this. And let's make it, uh, let's make them smaller. All right. Same group. Let's write video learning.
All right. So far, so good. Let's group all of these. And let's uh, distribute these uh, horizontally. And uh, we pretty much have uh, our tags. Now let's uh, bring all of this up. Let's make this uh, a little bit lighter. Just, just a bit, but not too much. And uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, add uh, some uh, um, illustrations from this uh, really cool illustrations pack, which uh, I recently discovered on UI8, which uh, is called uh, Hop uh, 3D Education Animation Pack. And it's an animated pack. And in this case, we're actually going to simply use uh, the, um, the PNGs, but uh, there's definitely a lot that uh, you can do with this pack. So we're going to go over here and let's figure out uh, some elements which uh, could uh, actually work well in this composition. So the way I'm going to do it uh, is uh, I'm probably simply going to have a look around uh, over here and just to see what's uh, going to uh, work uh, right afterwards. So. I haven't really looked it through much uh, previously. So the way that we're gonna do it uh, is uh, we're simply going to drag and drop uh, a few of these elements and then kind of like uh, um, eyeball, if you wish, uh, the content based on uh, what our needs uh, are. And uh, I'm just going to do it live. So there isn't really like a lot of uh, um, back and forth that's <laughs> gone into this, I'm just creating it uh, in a spontaneous way. But um, this is actually how I would tackle a client's project whenever I'm deciding upon uh, uh, an element uh, such as this one. I would just uh, uh, have a few ideas on the table, put a few ideas on the table. And then based on that, uh, you see what uh, sticks, what works and uh, what doesn't. So yeah, that's... Uh, I would usually tackle this. Now let's select all of these, let's make them a little bit smaller. And I can already imagine that we're probably going to change the color in this, but uh, let's just leave it as it is for now. And uh, kind of like this, uh, this element right here. Um, for some reason, I think it just uh, really works uh, in, uh, the, in the context. Let's try and match it with uh, the other column. Let's bring it over here and uh, let's give it a shot and let's duplicate this uh, once and let's uh, try and change the background color of this uh, uh, landing page. So this is already looking uh, pretty interesting, maybe a little bit too much. Um, let's try something just a little bit lighter. And this is definitely on a more harsh side, if you wish. So let's go ahead and let's add uh, some blur into this, just to make it uh, a little bit more visually differentiated from the background. So, all right, probably just uh, keep it more or less like this. And let's tr also try another color since we're not uh, going to just decide upon uh, one and uh, <laughs> go for that one right away. So let's try also something different, like a blue background. And then so something around these lines could work uh, pretty well. Now let's remove the layout grid just for a moment. And uh, let's also give it a shot uh, with uh, another design. So let's try and duplicate this just one more time. Let's add this element instead. As you can see, these 3D illustrations are really making uh, the uh, layout pop in a positive and fast way. So definitely something that uh, you might want to consider if, you, if you're looking to bring a design to the next level, maybe some, some of these elements could work in your favor. All 
right? Let's make it even bigger. And uh, I think we're going to stick with uh, just one of these two. So we're pretty much done. There's a lot of other explorations and things that uh, we could potentially do when it comes uh, <laughs> to these uh, elements. Uh, but for the time being, I think uh, we're in a good spot. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, I want to remind you that my channel have over 300 videos on software tutorials and also sharing my experience freelancing for the past uh, um, eight years. So uh, feel, feel free to check them out and I'll see you in the next video.